So my name's Priya and I started um, Buddha Garden um, in the year 2000. So the farm is 20 years old now. Um, we grow mainly vegetables and fruit and we have a very few chickens. Um, and um, as, we've, as we've sort of gone on, um, one of the things that we've really enjoyed doing is hosting um, students. And we have students from all sorts of different places. We have schools, we have universities, we have people to come and do research, all that sort of thing. And what we're trying to do now is to create um, education programs because especially after COVID-19, um, I mean, I think this showed up, you know, just how fragile our food systems are, including the food system in Oroville. And we want really to, um, to teach young people about this and to teach them about what it means to grow healthy food, that they can either grow themselves or that they, they know how to support people who are growing healthy food. And by healthy food, I mean growing without chemicals, um, without fertilizers, that sort of thing. And um, so what we're going to do is, um, obviously we bring a lot of students to um, Buddha Garden and they actually have an experience here because um, we work from 6.15 till 9 every morning and we often ask students to come and actually help us. So they get the experience of actually coming and helping us to grow food. So um, I've actually written several books about what we do here in Buddha Garden and what, the, um, what we're going to do is to set up what we call, the, uh, what I'm calling the Garden of Unseen Helpers. And the object of this garden is to help students understand the insects and the microbes that are really necessary for um, growing good food. Um, because it's not just about particular techniques, but it's about understanding nature. Because everything we do in the farm is based on natural processes. And so the students need to understand what these natural processes are and how to grow food. I call it earth-friendly food growing. How to grow food that doesn't hurt the natural processes on which we depend to grow this food. That's the Garden of Unseen Helpers. And then what we're going to do is to have a building um, where, which is going to be a place where we can um, have videos and that kind of thing because about what we do here and also to explain to them why we do certain things you know what when we're planting plants why we treat them in a certain way and, and how to have healthy plants and that kind of thing. 